ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭಾಗಿಹಾಯ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮಾಧ್ಯಮ
there is a red dot so i'm not sure what that means it's gone it seems most oh. oh. mm. the red dot is the recording thing recording is going on it wasn't there in the beginning no it was there when there is a recording there is there will be the, the dot i see okay Oh, not that red dot. That's not what I mean. Here, there is another red dot on the sound system. Right next, see when you have four, four of these. I'm looking at my iPhone. Hi, ladies. Hi. Huh? Oh, I can't. You can hear me, okay? Don't just say ladies. I'm sure there must be some gentlemen too. Yes, there is a gentleman there. <laughs> <laughs> is that Asha or Usha? Usha. Usha. Okay. I can never tell between you guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know. Everybody has a problem with that. Yeah. So we are only four people here? Uh, I can't tell. My my yeah. phone doesn't tell me. Oh, it's one, two, three, four, and five people. <coughs> and six people. Okay. We yeah, have six people. Who is the sixth one? Five three, I can see. You can see me fast. Yeah. Ah, Vasanthi ji, Na Nagaratnam ji, and then Rajas Sundari. Oh, I don't know the whole name. It says Rajas. Oh, is it Rajas Sundari? Then there is no man here. That's uh, that's not a complete name. I don't know what it. What it Uh, you have to you can that's that's a lady who spoke earlier that's okay now are we starting with the second chapter ah uh, uh, no, we are chanting only that we are going about to chant that whole chapter then the, and the continue with the ending that madhyam i told you yesterday from there i don't we'll think be- there are any chapters here we just go on No, no, there are chapters. No, there are five chapters. Yeah, five chapters. Five chapters. Yes, we are on the second one, completing the second one. Atma. Atma kaha, right? Yeah, yeah. Atma kaha. This is the second chapter. Atma atma viveka. Yes. I didn't know that there were chapters. I was just thinking it's completely one big lump. Chapter is Atma Tattva Viveka. The chapter name is Atma Tattva Viveka. I have a book with you, right? You have the e-book? I have, I have an e-book, but it's in Telugu. But they didn't oh, differentiate. Right. But I have one in English also. Chinmaya. Chinmaya. Uh, Teja Maya Nanda wrote one. Uh, mm-hmm. I didn't realize there are chapters. Uh, I guess I didn't pay attention to that part. Okay. <clears throat> I may not be able to uh, sit through completely. Hmm. I, I think I, I think I sent you maybe to Usha Telugu Atma Bodha. Asha, you might have. Now you might have sent it to Asha. Oh, now this speaking Usha. Oh yeah, this is Usha. Asha is not here. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you right. send it to her? uh no i must have sent it to you are you sure I in the beginning you remember one time you were in a bhagavad gita class and i was sending it to everybody and you asked for it uh, uh, i can send no, i can send you again no no i want to see yeah uh, i don't see anything here okay i can send you again it's not a big deal yeah it's very mm-hmm. simple And, uh, yeah, but this uh, this book you don't have. Sangamitra sent it to me. Mm, that I don't have. No. What book is that? It's in English. <laughs> so I was telling that uh, this the Katubada is a book of uh, uh, definitions. So because it is, uh, it's a book of definitions. It is not enough to know only the translation. so you should know the meaning of what each term means so the understanding of each word is important 
So therefore, this uh, Tatovada text can be covered in, in just three classes because it is nothing but a book of definition. And the same text can be taken for 15 classes also and can be extended for 50 classes also. So it is possible. This textbook, this textbook is not a Vichara Granta. We don't do any uh, inquiry on the topic discussed, like in uh, Panchadashi or uh, the other Prakana Granta. Panchadashi, if you take that, Viveka is there. So the, the first five chapters is on Viveka, different types of Viveka. So that each Pratriya is taken, I mean, that is discussed elaborately. That is a Vichara Granta. They go in depth to each topic and discuss, giving a lot of examples, you know. So, but in Tattubada it is uh, not like that. It is just uh, defining the terms. But we don't just stop with defining the terms. If you see uh, the our classes, we have done a yeah, detailed vichara into the the, uh, the 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 word and also with a lot of uh, uh, the stock examples and also the empirical examples to understand what it means. That is important. So therefore, uh, today we are in uh, 37th class. To my, uh, um, I mean, estimate it may go for another 20 classes. So it means another, it means totally 60 classes. It means for another two months, two or three months probably it will go. So you may think I am uh, repeating certain things, but it is not repetition, it is uh, just it has purpose. Repetition is not a dosha. Okay, that repetition is a is a method which is it is not a dosha and it is encouraged by in the tradition by the shastra. So no topic is repeated and we are not uh, sticking to one topic. No, we are moving actually. But the movement is not seen. Slowly we are moving from topic to topic and discussing every term in detail. Okay, now the next definition after Atma Gaha. Stula Sari Ram Kim. Stula Sari Ram Kim. Panchi Tuta Pancha Maha Bhutai Krutam Sakkar Majanyam Sukha Dukhadi Bhogha Yatanam Sari Ram Asti Jayate Vardate Viparinamate Apakshi Yate Vinashati Iti Shat Vikaravat Etat Stula Sari Ram. I'm going to skip some of the uh, sentences here. Yeah. I am going to okay. give you only the important definition and we have lost some time also. Sukshma Shari Ram Kim Sukshma Shari Ram Kim Apanchi Krita Pancha Mahabhutai Kritam Satkar Majanyam Sukha Dukkha Di Bhoga Sadhanam Pancha Jnana Indriyani Pancha Karme Indriyani Pancha Pranadayaha Manas Chaikam Buddhis Chaika Evam Sapta Dashat Kalabisraha Yetat Ishtati Tat Sukshma Shariram Apanchi Krita Sukshma Mahabhutaihi Kritam Tanma Janya Sukhadi Bhoga Sadhanam Pancha Jnana Indriyani Pancha Karma Indriyani Pancha Pranadaya Manashtaikam Buddhishtaika Evam Sapta Dashat Kalabisraha Sahayat is the Tati Sukhma Sheri Kim Karana Sheri Ram Kim Anirvachya Anadia Vidya Rupam Sheri that Vyasya Sarana Matram Satsvarupa Jnanam Mirabi Kalpata Rupam Yadasti Tatu Karana Shariram Anidvatya Adi Adidya Rupam Shariratvayasya Karana Matram Satsvarupa Jnanam 
निर्विकल्पकूपुप्ति जाग्रदवस्थाकाश्रोत्रादिज्ञानेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्द्रियेन्
मदीयम शरीरम ज्ञाते आत्मा न सच्चिदानंद Please tell me which one of this is I am. 
That is the question. You see the problem now. Therefore, the teacher cannot answer the, the, the question directly. It is not like the question what is an atom. There the question is specific. But here the question who am I, it's a different question and it has to be dealt differently. The teacher has to nullify all the wrong conclusions about the, about, uh, the person who asked the question about what he thinks himself to be. So he has to nullify all the wrong conclusions. Without nullifying, it cannot be answered by the teacher. Even if the teacher answers, it will not be understood, or probably it will be misunderstood. That is more dangerous. Therefore, the knowledge of what Atma is not is very important. It will be a really a, a shocking revelation to know that your son is not you, your mother is not you, your relationships are not you, nobody is you. In fact, you are not even this body, you are not this mind, you are not the senses, you are not the emotions, you are not the feelings. No, nothing is you. Can you can you separate yourself from your emotions and see uh, yourself separate from the Emotions, for example, anger. Can you see se se yourself separate from anger? Can you see separate from yourself from anxiety, worry? When anger comes, you become angry and you say, I am angry. The I is in anger completely identified with anger. I become one with anger. You become inseparable from anger. Can you ask who am I at that moment? When you are in anger, no. Who is getting angry? The, the person is in anger and the person is one with the anger. So therefore, there is no space to address the issue there. When anger and you become one, there is no possibility of asking this question. Maybe after the, the anger subsides, then you may ask, who am I? So what does it mean? It means you have some understanding that you are not anger. You are not what you think yourself to be. Because anger is not there now, the anger has disappeared, the inner space is there to ask this question. Not that you have gained knowledge because of inner space, no. Even when you were in anger, you have this question. But this question is not addressed as the person is not available to address. Now, when you become normal, you know and have the knowledge that anger is not you. Therefore, there is confusion. You know you are not you are not anger, but at the same time, you cannot help identify with it. If you are not anger, then why do you identify with it? Therefore, the knowledge about yourself is not that you don't have it, but at the same time, you don't have it. You don't have it because that is identification of yourself with anger or with so many things which you come across. Therefore, they have to be negated and that is what we have done so far. When we negated Sarira Tariyam Panchakoshukam to discuss for so many classes, what, what are you doing there? We are negating actually. Therefore, now you can ask Atma Tarikiktaha. Who am I? Who am I then after negating everything? I'll give another argument. You can ask question about anything in the jagat which you know. But you cannot ask about things which you don't know. Before you know atom, you cannot ask what is an atom. Probably you would have heard the word atom or the teacher would have taught you in the physics class. But you didn't understand what it means and, and uh, you know the word atom from the class. Therefore, now you can ask what is an atom. But regarding you, Atma, you, there was neither a time nor will be a time that you don't know it. It is always there. I is always there. You never add any doubt about it. Nor it is uh, not that you don't know it. You have and you have to know it later. It's not like that. I is always there. Whatever, when it is always there, then how can you question about it. 
i is not something which you recently heard and you have doubt about it now no as a child i is there from childhood onwards even before that onwards i is there therefore it is not something new which you want to know now so far it is taken to be something and now you probably doubt it therefore we need to nullify all that which is not true therefore what atma is not is as much important as what atma is that is the teaching method the teacher knows that therefore he doesn't he didn't add, address a question directly in the beginning the teacher presented the teaching systematically negating all that which is not atma so far and therefore now the disciple has come to a point and the teaching has come to a point to know what atma is therefore the question comes atma tarhikta what is atma then what is atma then then it will say tarhi it will say we have this we have nullified we have this so many things and nullified all that which is not atma so now we have arrived at a point to know what atma is and what is the answer satchidananda roopah atma tarhikah satchidananda roopah atma is sat chit and ananda atma is of the swarupa of the nature of sat chit and ananda now the teacher has introduced three words now sat chit and ananda the disciple doesn't know what it means so the author will take up each word and explain the disciple will ask sat kim so every word he will question and the teacher will answer sat kim what is sat what do you mean by sat the teacher says kala trepi tishtati iti sat what exists in all the three periods of time is sat literally sat means truth the reality that which is not with any time and therefore it is free from the the changes that time can bring about sat is defined here as abaditam non negatable reality after negating everything what is left out which is which is non negatable abaditam that is sat so sat here it is defined as a non negatable reality abadita vastu kalatrepi pistati iti the definition itself is a, it's a complete the simple definition but it is complete pistati is that which is in all the three periods of time kalaha kala is time trayam in three in all the three periods of time what is is sat atma alone is sat that is what he says here what exists in all the three periods of time is atma there is nothing other than atma so atma alone is sat if there is any object which fulfills this definition this lakshana kala triya pi tishtat which means that which cannot be negated at any time that is sat but is there an object which can be negated in all the three periods of time once you say an object an object is subject to negation an object is subject to con- change it subject to continuous change in fact that is called object anything which is born like a pot it is negatable with respect to clay pot is negatable ghata drishtya um mrti mrtika drishtya ghatah abaditam ghatam abaditam with respect to pot clay is non negatable with respect to clay pot is negatable with respect to pot clay is non negatable with respect to the particles of clay the powder of clay clay is negatable with respect to molecules of clay clay powder is negatable negated with respect to atoms of clay molecules of clay are negatable we can go on and on therefore there is only one thing at last left out that is non negatable and that is atma 
therefore if at all anything <laughs> if at all anything, yeah i'm sorry i'm uh, sorry to interrupt you but can you go over this again about how uh, the play being the no i'll tell you later at the end of the class right please okay. you can mark your question okay so we can there is only one thing which is uh, not it is not negative so there is no other object which can fulfill this definition it is that that which can fulfill this definition is only atma you can negate everything else but it cannot negate yourself so this is the definition for atma exact definition complete definition and this definition doesn't extend to another thing there is no another thing is there after negating everything that which is left that which cannot be negated about it was to it is atma generally a definition a lakshanam should be able to distinguish an object from all other objects otherwise it is not a definition a lakshanam but in the definition of atma there is no certain thing the definition doesn't get extended to a second thing therefore this definition is applicable to only to atma and nothing else and therefore sat is atma kala tarayati tishtati sat here kala kala is kalpitam kala is kalpitam when we talk about three periods of time past present and future really speaking it is kalpitam when you say past present and future past also is really present you can think of the past only in the present now you can think of the future only in the present now you cannot think of the future in the future the future is now similarly you cannot think of the past in the past the past is now because you are thinking the past now it is now now we are thinking the past we cannot live in the past and think so in the present only you can think about the past and the future therefore there is no past or future besides what you think in the present now therefore the present is itself is full of past present and future ramana magarshi is he says in uh, sat darshanam in tamil it is called i think ullavai ullad narpadu the sanskrit uh, translation is there he says in that bhutam bhavishyacha bhavatsvakale tad vartmanasya vihaya tatvam asyana kinsya gatavabhi charcha vinayaka sankhyam gananeva loke bhutam past bhavishya future svakale eva bhavatu the past and the future they are present in their own times without understanding the truth of the present the dis- the discussion about the past and the future is ridiculous asyana kinsya how he gives an example just as a word as a number number 1 the numeral number 1 without the numeral number 1 you cannot count the numbers the other numbers don't exist so therefore the truth of present the now is that it is not available for any further deletions atma is the truth of kala atma is the truth of time and therefore kala is kalpika maya kalpika desha kala talana dakshina murti stotra but maya kalpika kalpita is there so the atma the kala itself it resolves in finally in atma chaitanya you say kalpitam that which is kalpitam depends on that which is akalpitam kalpitam means understand it means superimposed that which is superimposed is called kalpitam so any kalpitam must have akalpitam as the aadharam in the kalpita kala there is a root satyam is there what is that atma it is like yeah a pot kalpita on clay anything which is which is kalpita is dependent on something which is akalpitam a pot is kalpita superimposed on what 
on lake akalpita mrtika in a in a relative sense the clay also becomes akalpita in, in a relative sense the clay is akalpita really speaking the clay also akalpita the clay is akalpita and the clay powder and the clay powder on the molecules molecules on the atoms it can go on finally it is akalpita only on akalpita atma so kalpita depends entirely upon a reality which itself is akalpitam now if time is kalpita past is kalpita future is kalpita the present also is kalpita then what is akalpitam sat the sat is akalpitam it is a swarupa of the one who is doing the kalpana that swarupa is the atma which is akalpita okay now uh, everything in the in the jagat changes vikara vikara vat jagat everything which comes under time changes for example you see a, a stone a huge stone it is not the same stone what you saw last year it is now it is different in fact it is not the same stone you saw a minute before but we don't have the power to recognize to or we, or we don't recognize the change we don't have the power to recognize the change but reference to anything which i perceive in the jagat we do commit a mistake a certain projection is committed by us we fail to recognize the fact the fact the factuals are always replaced by our projections in understanding the jagat two things are considered to be the base basis what are they one is the kala time the other one is desha place they are the basis for experiencing the world when you say this is a pot you are pointing out the object pot in terms of its existence in time this is a pot the pot is not outside of time the pot is not outside of space the pot has itself has certain space and it, it occupies a certain space and there is time involved when you say a pot is you mean the pot has existence in time now it is there kataha asti pot is there now it was not the same pot you just saw a minute before and it will not be the same next minute so a pot p at time t is p t but at another time t1 it is not the same p t it will become p t1 at time 2 it will become p t2 so time changes and therefore it is not the same pot but to our uh, chakshus the pot seems to be the same but it changes with respect to time therefore when you say it is the same pot it is kalpana it is imagination that change is so small that it is difficult for us for us to to appreciate therefore in everything changes in time we know very well that certain things gets fossilized how over a period of that time you you can you can take a video of a plant which grows from a the, from the seed it sprouts from the seed slowly it uh, develops a stem then leaves and flowers and becomes a full plant now after you capture this thing in a uh, in a in a camera you just play the fast mode you see the whole growth in a short time it means what there is a change in every small second and the change is not appreciated by us because it is not appreciable it is not available for our recognition but it doesn't mean there is no change that means the object is not the same it is always changing in fact we don't come across the same object again it is a fact in buddhism we say you don't step on the same water twice but for them it is shanikam momentary everything is momentary and they don't accept that which doesn't change that atma they don't accept therefore they are shunyavadis that emptiness is a philosophy but we just dismiss it 
it is uh, it's wrong and we can prove it easily also suppose you, you are uh, watching a movie in the theater and you see a man and you see a horse you see the man sitting on the horse suppose and if i ask you what do you see what will you say you would say i see a man if i ask you further what else you see you may say i see a horse and the man is sitting on the horse you will say if i ask you further what do you see behind the man you may say i see a huge mountain and trees and river if i ask you further what you see then you will mention all that which you see in the visual if i ask you again what you see probably you would say i see the blue sky but you would never observe a white screen over which the movie is projected the movie is kalpita on the akalpita screen white screen without the screen there is no movie but we fail to recognize the white screen without the screen no visuals are possible therefore now how can i make you to see the screen to arrive at the screen then we have we have to negate the man the horse the mountain trees the sky whatever you saw in the screen everything have to be negated everything in the you observed in the visual have to be negated because it is kalpitam on the screen to arrive at akalpita screen you have to negate all these things and what about screen can screen be negated no screen is akalpita everything else is kalpitam everything which you observe in the visual is momentary but the screen is not momentary it is satyam again every change you observe what doesn't changes atma in the jagat also that is that is the same thing it is a thing what is left out negating everything is sat satya vastu atma everything can be negated but existence cannot be negated that which is ever existent that which is present in all the three periods of time is sat that which never changes divine every changing phenomena that which never changes that which is the adharam for all the changes is atma and atma is ever existent but our focus is always on the change and therefore we fail to recognize the unchanging i'll give another example the two trains are moving uh, in a on, on parallel lines on parallel tracks the two trains now they are moving at the same speed now from one train you can see the person sitting on the other train by the window side for you the, the other train is stationary and your train also it seems to be stationary for you and now we can uh, initiate a talk and have a chat with the other person through the window it appears that your train is not moving and uh, his train is also not moving and you are talking to the other person the uh, other person who is in the non moving train but really speaking both are on the move so therefore similarly in the jagat also everything changes including you you change other others also change every object in the jagat change, changes but what is the unchanging thing that is the atma you never come up with the same object again in life in fact you don't see the same person or the same object again but in through even through all the changes there is one thing which is changeless which is constant which is akalpitam that is atma that is sat therefore since everything in the jagat changes with time the existence of part or the existence of any object is the existence of time if time itself is kalpita the existence of part or any other object is also kalpita every kalpita is not separate from akalpita atma like what like a part is not separate from clay therefore they are not separate from akalpita atma and the truth of kalpita is kalpita atma it is 
सत् कालत्रेपि यह अकल्पित आत्मा तिष्ठति तदेव सत् ड्यूसिंग इन ऑल द थ्री पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम द सत् इज आत्मा चैतन्य आत्मा चैतन्य कॉन्शियसनेस द कॉन्शियसनेस इज एवर एग्जिस्टेंट एंड कॉन्शियसनेस इज चित् एंड चित् इज सत् एग्जिस्टेंस दे आर नॉट डिफरेंट डोंट थिंक चित् इज डिफरेंट सत् इज डिफरेंट नो दे आर सेम दे आर नॉट डिफरेंट विदाउट बीइंग चित् देयर इज नो सत् without being said there is no chit please understand this and now we know that all objects exist in time when you say time space is also involved therefore an object has space and time in the concept of time whether it is past present or future there is time consciousness when you say time is it is the existence of time that isness that isness indicates the existence therefore the time is kalpita on existence sat therefore an object existing in time it has time consciousness time existence an object existing in space as space consciousness that force with every object consciousness there is time consciousness and space consciousness without time consciousness there cannot be object consciousness because every object exists in time you cannot say an object is without time consciousness since all objects exist in time there cannot be space consciousness without time consciousness therefore any object any object consciousness spot consciousness it has space consciousness and time consciousness and we can understand the existence of any object that existence of any object is the existence of time and time itself is anirvachaniyam which cannot be defined what is time when you say the time exists it means it is present vartamane let vartamane let vartamane is kalpita the present is kalpita for example if you take the stock example devadattaha pachati devadattaha pachati devadatta cooks now the cooks what tense is that pachati vartamane vartamane let how long does he does he cook how long does it take to cooking now devadatta has entered the kitchen for cooking now he is in the kitchen when he is cutting when he is um, washing the vegetables he is cooking when he is cutting the vegetables he is cooking when he is boiling the vegetables he is cooking so all these are considered to be the pachana kriya pachanam it's really speaking pachanam is nitya there is no pachanam pachanam doesn't exist it is nitya pachanam is not one single action that is why it is nitya it is kalpita on a series of actions so understand the word kalpita very clearly when you say he walks you say he walks it means what the person is has covered some distance he he started his walking from a point let us say the point is a he started his walking from a point a and he is still walking now you tell me when did he walk when the real walking has taken place in walking the first he lifts his legs then that is then walking happens right one has to lift his left one's leg to walk now if he, he lifts he lifts his leg and places it forward that is walk there are many actions involved in one step and that is a past and present in one step first he lifts his left leg let us say left leg first it is present he lifts his left leg now it is present he places his left leg on the ground and lifted his and lifts his right leg that is present now and lifting his le- left leg it has become past now again he 
place a tree, left leg, right leg on the ground, and left is left leg. It has become present. The other has become past. So, if you look at all this thing, it appears confusing. But really speaking, it is. It doesn't. All these are kalpika. Cooking and walking, they are they are considered to be a single action. It is not. Cooking is kalpita on a series of actions. Walking is kalpita on a series of actions. Therefore, that they are kalpita. It doesn't really. I mean, uh, it cannot. Uh, it cannot point out that that uh, that that the kalpita. Everything, every it is considered to be a, a series of actions. Therefore, you can definitely point out what is cooking, what is walking. There is no definite action. Therefore, we say it is kalpita. So, from the definition of sat, now we can easily understand that shariram is not satyam. Shariram is not accepted as a reality because body was not there before its jananam. Shariram was not there before its jananam, and it is not going to be there after maranam. So, shariram has a beginning and an end. It doesn't exist in all the three periods of time. So, similarly, other bodies, other kosha, whether it is kula shariram or sukhmulirim or karan shariram or any avastha of other matter, it doesn't exist in all the three periods of time. Then, what does what is what is what is that which really is atma? That atma being said there. Which exists in all the three periods of time, it is a reality. It is the vitatta. Another thing is, what is in time is subject to modifications. Anything which is subject to modification, we cannot call it a reality. What is a modification? A modification is, is it's a change in the form. It drops a form and assumes a new form. So modification, it's really speaking, it is a kind of uh, a transformation or a death. So anything in the creation you take, which undergoes modification, cannot be called reality. And the shariyams are subject to modification. Therefore, they are not atma. And an atma is not within time. Therefore, it it is not subject to any change. And it is a reality. Therefore, what is that such that is always is but always present, it is that is consciousness. And so we call the Tat as Chit, Chaitanya, Jnana Swarupa. So therefore, here the, the author defines Chit Kim. What is Chit? Chit is Jnana Swarupa. Chit is of the nature of consciousness. Chit and Chaitanya, they are the same. But here the author says that it is jnana varupaha, it is of the nature of awareness, consciousness. Okay. Regard, they will discuss more on chit uh, uh, in the next class. Next class we will take up chit and do. Uh, but before uh, I conclude today, so I will give one more point which is relevant to what we uh, discussed in our aspect class also. In, uh, you know, in the Samskam class, we are discussing um, uh, this Bhuta Kridanta, Kridanta Pratyaya. There, you know what Bhuta Kridanta is, Ta and Tavatu Pratyaya. Now, let us take an example. Ramaha Patitavan. Ramaha Patitavan. So, what does it mean? Rama, red. It is a past tense. Right, Ramaha Patitava. In Sanskritam, according, according to Grammarian, in Sanskrit Vyakaranam, that is called a sentence which has a thing prataya. Which has a thing prataya, thing prataya. Fifth first tree, that's a thing prataya. So, one thing prataya should be there, then only it is called a sentence. In Ramaha Kritavan, Ramaha is, you know, Ramaha is the karta. And Kritavan is, it's also a, it is derived from the Shabda. Therefore, it is, it is, it's, uh, as I told you, that they act like an adjective to the karta. So, Kritavan Ramaha. So, where is the thing prataya there? There is no thing prataya there. 
then can we call that as a vakyam? Ramaha Krutavan, we say, we have to supply that thing prata. It is understood. What is that? Ramaha Krutavan Asti. That asti or Bhavati, it is understood. But we don't say it. Ramaha Krutavan Asti. Now you may think there is a contradiction between Krutavan and Asti. Asti is Latlakara and Krutavan is Pastum. Is there not a contradiction? No. Ramaha Krutavan, when you say, Rama is a karta, here he he did. But that asti, it says Ramaha is asti. The Swarupa of Rama is, is, is what Atma, which is ever existent. And Ramaha asti, and what about you? From Kritavan asti. What happened to him again? Can you all hear? Laugh him again. What happened? I can't hear. Is anyone talking? No. Yeah, yeah. Can't hear. Yeah. I'll, I'll, again, we have lost it. It's interesting, no? An interesting topic. If he doesn't have electricity, he can't even reply, probably. <clears throat> I think that's what might have happened. He must have lost. Mm. Anybody, anybody in from Chennai in this group? Yes, maybe that area. Hmm. So I wonder if the recording is going on. Yeah, it's going well, on. The red light, yeah, it's going on. So if we talk, probably it's going to be an objection again. <laughs> <laughs>
<coughs> are you guys there? Yep. Yeah, we are here. Okay, I had another call, so I had to go back and come. Yeah. He usually quits in an hour when it's after each other, so he must be quitting. Hmm. Do you think we need to wait or can go? I think okay. we can quit. Oh, he's, yeah, he's joined. Actually, he's wrapping up for okay. the next class to get back. Okay. Um, Sorry. Oh, I'm back. Yes. Back now. Um, yeah, um, but it's a good thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, complete now. Okay. Sorry for the So, Nanotone, can you please mute your mic? Yes. Hello. Oh, I can hear my echo. One minute. I will join here. Okay, uh, so I'll join again. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fine. Sorry. Uh, I, I can't share the PDF. Anyway, the, the PowerPoint is not required now. So I was telling um, with reference to our, our uh, grammar also. So we say that uh, Ramaha Kirtavan Asti, that, uh, that uh, Kirtavan Asti, they seem to be contradictory, but it is not. Kritavan it denotes the action done by the Rama in the past, in the Uttakala. But Ramaha is Asti. So, Ramaha Kritavan Asti, that Asti is understood, even if you don't supply, Asti is there, because Asti is that, that Sat is there in all the three periods of time. Therefore, that is, that Asti, that we say Asti, and that changes with reference to the Purusha. Ramaha Kritavan Asti, Tvam Kritavan Asi, Aham Kritavan Asmi. The same Asti becomes Asi and Asmi. It means that I, you, and anybody for that matter is, is there. The reality of that is nothing but, nothing but such existence. Therefore, it is not contradictory. It is understood. If you translate that Ramaha Kritavan Asti in English, Ramaha Kritavan in English, suppose, Rama did. Rama did. And Asti is that. So, Rama is did. Rama, Rama is did. The Asti form of Rama is denoted by the word is, isness, the existence. Similarly, you are did. That maybe grammatically it is wrong, but that is what the truth is. Similarly, I am did. That I can say I that existence of that I am consciousness and existence of me is there. That's what I did. The action may point out to something done in the past, but what is the reality, the tattoo of the karta? That is tattoo. Whether it is an, uh, a, a, an object or a person, the reality of what it is is such an existence, atma, atma chaitanya. That is there even uh, in, in the grammar. From the grammar also we can understand the 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 sat that sat you that that sat as you as me or any other object that doesn't change what we do may change and may have kala but i am is there always you are is there you are were doing in the past tense suppose you did something you were doing really speaking you are were doing r is there r is Sat. I hope you understand what Sat is. 
and that sat is nothing but consciousness they are not different the existence is consciousness consciousness is existence therefore now the author takes up the next uh, definition chit kim chit is nyana swarupa so it is consciousness nature of is consciousness chit is atma so atma is of the nature of consciousness atma is of the nature of existence so that which is existent and that which is consciousness and that which is ananda swarupa is atma that is what we are going to see later today we will stop here in spite of interruptions uh, we have completed the class today om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachade purnasya purnamadaya purneva vasishyate om shanti 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 he hari he om shri guru shyo namaha hari he om now you can ask me please carry those